Just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron. Today we're going to make grilled ahi tuna steaks. And I'm going to make them two different ways. I'm going to cook one or two in a cast iron grill pan. And then I'm going to cook one over here on my cast iron griddle. And I've got them hot. You see they're smoking hot now. Here's what the tuna steaks look like. We taken them out, they, they were frozen. And uh, we taken them out and thawed them out. But what we need to do now is go ahead and pat these things dry so uh, we can add our seasoning to it. Just like that right there. And what we're gonna add to these is just a little bit of olive oil and some Uncle, Stay, Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Uh, this is kind of a citrusy uh, type seasoning and boy it's really great for seafood and fish so we're going to get that on there now all we need to really do is take our olive oil we're going to just drizzle a little bit on our tuna steaks like that right there and we just want to kind of wipe that in a little now i don't grease my griddle and i don't grease uh, my grill pan i just basically add the oil to my tuna steak add my seasoning to it and you can this is kind of optional you can actually do this in reverse order you can actually go ahead and grill your tuna steak and then uh, once it's done you can add uh, your your oil and your seasoning we'll listen to that sizzle now i'm gonna do both of these in this grill pan and we really only want to do this for a couple minutes on each side now, uh, fish is supposed to be brought to a temperature of 145 degrees internal. A lot of people just like to sear their uh, tuna, and you'll see as it starts to sear, as it starts to cook, you'll see it begin to turn white from the bottom up. And uh, so it's getting a good sear on it. Okay, as you can see in the grill pan, how this is turned white on the bottom. We should have uh, a pretty good little sear on the bottom. Oh, look at those grill marks. We flip those over and we'll let those cook for another two or three minutes. A lot of people like them medium or medium rare. Uh, but like I said, you're really supposed to cook fish until 145 degrees internal. Now you can see the difference on using a grill uh, griddle versus a grill pan. The grill pan will give you the grill marks that you want, but you can use it on a griddle or whatever. But you need some good ventilation because it will smoke. It's browning up that seasoning. Okay, as you can see how the tuna steaks are beginning to get white all the way around the side. I'm just going to probe this and see what it is internally. It's running about 97, 98 degrees. So we still got a little ways to go yet. Give them just another minute or so and then we'll go ahead and pull these off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull this. I'm gonna clear that one side a little bit. And what we wanna do now, once we get these off, we want to let these rest for just a few minutes. Now what I like to do uh, with my fish, because once you pull your fish, it will begin to start wanting to try to turn uh, dry. So just add you a little bit of oil. It won't hurt a little bit of olive oil. It's good for everybody. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit more of my seasoning on there and let that soak in. So we'll let that rest a minute and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, well, we've let this rest for a few minutes. And uh, like I said, I added a little bit of olive oil to let it soak into the fish, the tuna steak, and to uh, help keep it moist or whatever. But anyway, you can see, and I just, I just wanna break this open by hand. I don't wanna cut this or anything. I just wanna look at that medium. That's a medium uh, tuna steak right there. And Tricia likes this one because it looks like a heart. Valentine's Day is coming up, so we got a heart-shaped tuna steak here too. So anyway, folks, this is really good. I mean, it's good and flaky. It's good and moist. Well done. Uh, cooked through and through. It's not raw. 
And uh, so we're going to give this a bite and try it out and see what it tastes like here. Yeah. You know what would be good with this right now? A little bit of lemon. Just take and squeeze you a little bit of lemon on these folks. And you can't beat that right there. So now we got a little bit of lemon on this. We're going to go ahead and get us a bite of this. And we certainly appreciate you guys. Hey, y'all check this video out here, here because it was made for you. And we'll see you later. It's Mike and Mrs. Cast Iron over here. We'll see you. Bye-bye.